welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley, and today we're going to learn how to add sounds to our framer projects. Super easy and super fun. Let's do it. To start adding sounds to your project, just go to the snippets menu, and then here you will find sounds as one of the options. You will find all the Facebook sound kit options that you can use. For example, buttons, really cute sounds of buttons expand and also complete and success errors almost all the UI sound feedback that you will need so let's add one of them let's add an alert there you go so it gives you the code that you will need the first one is adding the sound which is sound you give it the name and then it's a new audio and then the location of the audio and then it just plays the audio. Right now there's no event or anything that is actually playing the audio. If I just reload the preview, it will play the audio again. So here you can change the name of this audio. So for example, it can be an alert, alert. And then here I can call it alert two. And now it will play. So here first is the name, then it calls the audio, location of the audio, and then it plays it. Now let's use events to trigger sounds. For example, buttons. Here I have three different buttons and have a cancel button, and I want to be able to hear a sound when I press them. So let's test it out before we actually do it. Here, here in the preview, I just press action. And it's working. So let me explain you what happened here. I added the sounds and then I just added events to actually play the sounds. But let's do the whole thing from the beginning. So the first thing I want to do is add the sounds. So I'm going to add sounds here, buttons and navigation, and I'm going to add the first one. This is going to be my first sound. I don't need this right now. Let's add another sound. Another sound, this one is going to be from button two. Let's add another sound and another button. I like this one. Cool. So I just added all the sounds that I need from Facebook's sound kit. But right now they're all called the same, sound, sound, sound. They're all pointing to different files, as you can see, button one, button two, button seven, but they all call the same. So what I want to do is just name them differently. So this one I'm going to call sound two, this one is going to be called sound three, and this one be sound one. You can call them whatever you want, by the way. Now I want another for this, the cancel button. So I'm going to go ahead and add another one, snippet, sound, and let's do errors and cancel, this one. I'm going to call it sound error. I don't need this, so I can just delete it. I have all my sounds, my all my sounds are loaded, but right now I need to add events that actually trigger those sounds. If I click here, nothing is happening. So what I want to do is trigger those sounds by pressing here. So for example, this button, here you will see that it's called action one. So I can say action one dot on click. I'm going to say that sound one place. Play and then parenthesis and that's this should be making a sound when I click on it. There you go. Kind of an annoying sound, but it's there. Now let's do the same with action two, which is the second button. Action two dot on click. This should play sound two. Sound two dot play. And that's it. Now let's test it. There you go. I'm just going to copy paste this. I'm going to say the same, but I'm just going to change the name of this. Action three. There you go. Now all my buttons have a sound. Now let me show you how to use the sound in an animation event but also use your own sounds. So here I have a ball 
And I wanted to be bouncing between these two illustrations, between these two pyramids, and make a sound when they hit here. So I'm going to go to the code, and I hear our habit. When it gets to this position, it triggers a sound. When it gets to this other position, it triggers another sound. And it's creating this loop. So right now, I have the ball. It has two states in different Y positions. And then I just start animating. And I put some animation options where the curve, I change it to linear, just to make it a little bit more realistic. So it's just like there's no acceleration. It's just going back and forth. And also, here, I added a sound. Right now, I added a sound that is just from the snippets. And then here, I have a loop that is going from state A and then to state B and then back to state A. And then it's playing the sound that I called it boink. And right now, I'm using the sound from the snippets, but I want to use my own sound. So I'm going to go to the finder. Here on the, on the finder, I have a sound that I created myself. I recorded myself <laughs> saying boink. Boink. <laughs> boink. So that's the sound that I created, and I want to use it in my project. So I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to go to my project. Here, I have it here. It's called Sounds Boink. I'm going to open my Framer project, and here I have a folder called Sounds. If you don't already have this folder, just create a new folder called Sounds. It doesn't have to be that name. It's just whatever you want, but I, I like to call it Sounds. And then here in Sounds, I'm going to paste my Boink file. So I just paste it here, now it's boing.mp3, and I can play it and I can use it on my project. So I'm going to go back to my project here in the code. And here the new audio, instead of uh, opening this one, cancel too, I'm actually going to go ahead and call boing.mp3. I'm going to delete this. Boing, boing, <laughs> boing. There you boing. go. Now boing. I'm using my own sound, boing. which boing. is boing. kind of annoying. Boing but Boink. you can Boink. play around with your own Boink. sounds. That's the idea Boink. of this. Boink. Hopefully you Boink. get inspired to add Boink. sounds to your project. Boink. Just be aware that it can get annoying. So just use them in the places where you want to give feedback to the user about certain interactions and a way that is not annoying, but actually makes sense and it's pleasing. Boink.